open your browser and visit the official NGSF website. On the home page, navigate to the Internship Program section. Before you begin your application, make sure you go through the entire details properly. On this home page, you will find all the details about the application process, eligibility criteria, results, etc. Below, you will also find the WhatsApp community which you can get for instant updates. Once you have read all the details, now you can click on the online application system. Here you will find two options. The first one is the NGSF Internship Program 2025 application. Click on this. Here the application program will open. You can see it is written that if you face any problems, you can email them at this website. You can change the email account if you want to. And the star mark indicates the required question. Moving down, you have to enter your email over here. I'll put a test email. On the second page, you have the applicant basic details. Here you have to put fill the form according to these two rules. Make sure you follow these rules. They say that if your name is Albert Einstein and your phone number is 12345678090, then application ID would become the first three letters of your last name and the last four digits of your phone number. So this way you have to fill your uh, answer suppose i am uh, filling something as das4560 suppose and uh, my full name is let's say test das so it becomes the das becomes the last name moving ahead on the next page you have the educational background form you have to fill here your ongoing degree, bachelor's, master's or other if you are in, suppose integrated or anything else. You can fill that over here. In the bachelor's and master's sections, choose whatever you are. I am here choosing bachelor's. Then moving down, uh, you have to fill your specialization or major you are uh, doing. Suppose you are doing BTEC in biotechnology, then fill that. Uh, BTEC in biotechnology University of uh, you have to fill whatever university you are in I am uh, just filling some uh, random names uh, suppose the department is department of biology for uh, biotechnology then you have to fill the date of your uh, ongoing degree and the tentative end degree end of degree date to show you i am putting up some uh, random numbers then you have to fill your overall mark here you have to fill your overall marks uh, if you have any previous degree, suppose you are in master's, then you have to fill uh, the marks of your B.Tech degree. Uh, this is not a required question. So B.Tech students or bachelor students, no need to worry. You can skip this. And the next one is you have to upload all university transcripts as a single file. So make sure you rename the file as it is given over there. I will fill up some uh, random file and insert it. You can see it is loading and once it is inserted, uh, it is it should be below max 10 MB. So it is accepted. If it is not below 10 MB, it won't be accepted. Make sure you rename it properly. 
and then click on the next page and you will go to the fourth page so on the fourth page you have the internship detail section you have to fill the name of your host pi or mentor whatever you have uh, chosen i am uh, just filling out some uh, random names then name of the host institute suppose that iit mumbai then moving ahead you have to fill the pi's lab website uh, profile or university web web page or anything that you want to uh, you you have to paste the link over here link or website name uh, basically i am filling up some random website then department center school or branch of the pi if you know this about this info then you have to uh, fill up suppose the person is from uh, life sciences uh, so you have the department becomes the life science department moving down you have to choose the appropriate field of specialization for your internship make sure you choose this very carefully cause this is the subject you will be doing in your internship if you have if uh, your option is not in these then you have to click on other and write the option over here you can uh, see there is a space over here all this information uh, you will get to know if you read the details properly suppose i am uh, going for microbiology and cell biology uh, this is a required question make sure you fill this detail properly then you have to write your internship duration in days suppose uh, that is uh, you are doing it for 90 days or 70 days or whatever fill it over here and then tentative start of internship date you have to fill that you can go for the calendar section and uh, suppose you are doing it on 24th starting uh, it on 24th jan then click on this and you can see Uh, the date over here and the tentative end date of the internship click on this and suppose you are doing it for 3 months then the end will be on 24th march click on this and you will get to see this then you have to upload the acceptance letter from the pi as a pdf make sure you rename this file to properly uh, you have to rename it as your application id underscore 3 because the first pdf was uh, an underscore 2 so upload a supported file resize your files and renames i am filling up some fox details and then just insert it uh here i am just showing you the demo so see you can uh, see the file is below 10 mb so it is accepted if you don't have then you have to rename it then click on the next page and here you have the referee information uh in this uh, the referees should be from the institute employed of students on going degree and they should have handled the students coursework make sure you inform the referee before you fill up this detail but at least one of the max two referees are needed over here so you can see uh, the maximum of two referee you can enter the details of but one is compulsory and you have to make sure you inform them beforehand so the name of the referee one you have to fill up i am filling up some random things @gmail.com then position and place uh, suppose no uh, they are professor suppose i am doing it and uh, you have to fill the form if you have the details of referee 2 you can definitely fill up that too since this is not a required question i am skipping skipping this question clicking on next and you will go to the next page and this page is about the cv and research proposal 
uh, upload your research proposal here and please name your document it is clearly mentioned you have to rename your documents and resize them too make sure you adhere by this rule strictly click on the add file section and i am a uh, picking up a random pdf filling it and then upload your cv with the same uh, rule of renaming and resizing and you can see uh, both of these files are accepted because they are below 10 mb click on the next page and you will go on the second last page and that is additional information so you have to fill up this information it is about your family income state of origin uh, internship program etc the state of origin suppose i am from assa and my family income is 7 lakhs let's put some details up this is random details and suppose i got to know about internship program from email or anything make sure you fill this uh, detail too because it helps the foundation people to know about you uh, the last page is about the declaration of true information this is very necessary all the details that you have submitted is your responsibility and you will take the responsibility of that uh, before filling up this page make sure you go on all the back pages and see whatever you have filled is true to your information or not if not then you still have the time to change or correct it make sure you do this once you have done all the for all the pages uh, then click on the next page and come to the eighth page once you have seen all the things then click on i agree once you have clicked on i agree then click on the summit option once you have submitted this page will appear thanking you for applying to the program and you can keep this uh, screenshot for a reference in the future purposes <laughs>